reader of One Piece who've been following the manga, and if you're the tidbit curious, you'd be asking, what triggered Luffy's awakening, or what triggered awakenings, Devil Fruit awakenings in general? So, um, over the past few weeks, ever since chapter 1043 or 44 sort of got worked out um, when we saw it, we were wondering how, like, you know, how Luffy sort of awakened his fruit. So, first impressions of everyone else was the fact that death triggers the awakening. You have to meet certain criterias, and when, after you meet these criterias, death occurs, that's how you awaken your devil fruit. But that's a little, that's a little, you know, sophisticated in terms of One Piece terms. What I mean by that is, when One Piece gives, when Oda decides to give very special things to special people, it usually doesn't have, have too much of a complicated relationship. What I mean is, there are two things very special in the world of One Piece. Number one, users of Conqueror Azaki. Number two, users of Devil Fruit Awakenings. So, these are two very distinct things that are very similar at the same time. What I mean is, it's a very special power. Everyone has Haki. Everyone who can train has Haki. But the people who have conquerors Haki are very special and only limited. Most people, most people in the world of One Piece can learn Haki if they know how to train it. That goes for armament and observation. But conquerors, you have to possess it ever since you're a kid, or you awaken it at some point in your life. You can't train to get it. I think the same could be said for Devil Fruits. What I mean by that is, yes, you can upgrade your abilities, you can make it stronger, you can come up with new techniques, you can come up with new ways to use your Devil Fruit, but I don't think awakenings are triggered by training, just simply training the Devil Fruit. What I mean by that is, I'm going to talk about the same line of Conqueror's Aki the same way I'm going to talk about Devil Fruits. So, Conqueror's Aki, it awakens in... Conqueror's Aki comes out according to your will. The more stronger will you have, the more Conqueror's Aki you have. Conqueror's Aki users, for example, Luffy, when he wanted to save Ace, used Conqueror's Aki unwilling, uh, unknowingly and basically knocked out every single people he knew that, were weaker, that had weaker will, to, will than he did. So that's how Conqueror's Aki works in terms of willpower. He's triggered by the fact that he's in trouble and he now needs to do something or else someone or something will get lost if Luffy doesn't do something about it. Case, in case of this situation, it was Ace. So, if you think about it, to, we've seen, officially we've seen, uh, to wait, did we see... We saw two, three, I think we saw three or four Devil Fruit Awakenings. I'm going to talk about specifically about Katakuri and, Del and Doflamingo's Awakenings. And as for... So, when it comes to Awakenings, what we've seen them do is turn their surroundings into their element. And unofficially, we've seen Aokiji and Akainu turn Punk Hazard into a lava land and a frost land due to, his devil, due to their Devil Fruit powers. And we presume it's awakening because it has their elements. The island has basically absorbed the elements of both of the devil fruits and now it has become the element that they possessed. So that's not the point though. Point is, you really think something like awakenings, like you just think about it in a storytelling perspective or a cat or one piece perspective, really. You train, you train, you train, and suddenly you have a breakthrough. It's like you've worked out 10,000 hours using your devil fruit and now you suddenly know how to awaken your devil fruit. I don't think that's the case. I really don't think that's the case. If that were to be the case, most devil fruit users who has trained with the devil fruits for more than 20 years, 25 years, would be able to awaken it. I don't think that's what triggers devil fruit awakenings. I think what triggers devil fruit awakenings is circumstances. Sort of the same as hockey. Hockey improves the more you get into death battles, the more you get into battles, the more you improve your hockey. I think the same could be said for Devil Fruits. The more deadly situated, the deadlier your fight gets, the more you start to use your Devil Fruit in a more meaningful way. 
and that's what happened when Luffy went in at his lobby with gear second and third, knowing that if he just used his normal powers without having anything beyond that, he wouldn't be able to beat Lu Rob Lucci and CP9. He came up with second and third gear by taking inspiration from himself and from people around him. That's how he came up with gear second and third, and the same could be said for gear fourth. All of them were circumstances. He had to beat something, he found a weakness, and he acted towards it. Or he got inspired by something, and that's how he improved it. That's up until Gear 4. But Gear 5 is something that Luffy knowingly couldn't have been able to do. If said that Luffy had more, if we can say that Luffy had more stamina than he did when he fought against Kaido with Gear 4, I don't think he would have been able to come up with a new power up. I think what triggered Awakenings. The only way he could trigger that is his sense of responsibility. We've seen it throughout, we've seen it in chapter 1045 as well. He started regaining his powers when he reminded himself of the fact that he has to save Tama, he has to save Momo, uh, he has to save the land of Wano Ped for Pedro's sacrifice, for Momo's sacrifice, and he remembered all of these people and he remembered that he has a responsibility, he has to fight back so that all of these people can be free. He gains powers knowing that he has a responsibility or he has to save people around him. And I think when he got smacked by Kaido after the CP9 age, after the CP0 agent interfered, I think Luffy definitely died. Luffy definitely died. That was being confirmed by the fact that everyone said Luffy's voice is gone. I think Luffy actually had died, and he had to come back to life. Now, how did he come back to life? I think it was sheer willpower. His will to live and his will to save the country of Wano and defeat Kaido made him trigger the fact that he has tremendous will to live, and that will allowed him to basically pump his heart back. He did something with his devil fruit subconsciously that pumped his heart back, and now he's awakened to gear 5. He remembered his responsibility towards saving Wano and thus triggering that will he had, the strong will to live, the strong will to fight, so that he could defeat Kaido and use that to awaken his devil fruit. And when you talk about Karakuri and Doflamingo, I think they've definitely been in serious fights. They've been in life threatening fights where the only other option they had was awakening their devil fruits. And that's what I believe to be the trigger of awakenings. Now, to further my explanation, every time, every time Luffy remembered the stakes, remembered, remembered what he had to do in order to save his friends or a certain country, he got back up instantly when he reminded himself of the fact that he has people to save and that's been showcased throughout the story for luffy at least for luffy it's been showcased throughout the story that no matter how many times he gets knocked down he has to get up he remembers his responsibility towards his friends towards saving a country towards saving fellow friends that he made along the way and that's how he overcomes his weaknesses and defeats the big bad and I think that is the con the concept has been straightforward all throughout all throughout the story that this trigger of remembering your friends and remembering your duty is the thing that awakens your devil fruit. That's what gives Luffy power. That what that's what gives Luffy his purpose. And I think that's exactly how devil fruit awakenings are done. And I. This is just a theory, I'm not saying that it's foolproof, but from what we've seen in the story, I think this supports the idea the most, and I think any other explanation would prove to be a little meh. Because if you think about it, if death really triggered awakenings, I don't think... So there, there has definitely have to be at least one user of the Gomu Gomu no Mi before Luffy got it, and well... If that person, that person definitely had to die before Luffy got his devil fruit. 
So I don't think that's possible that if he died, the devil fruit had not awakened. That fruit hadn't awakened. So I don't think death triggers it. If death was actually the trigger, I think most of the devil fruit users would be able to trigger their awakening if they died at least once. It's different for Brook because his fruit basically works only when he dies. But other than that, any other devil fruit users, if you think about it, maybe in the brink of death, yes, but not after death. I think Luffy's will was so strong that it enabled him to pump his heart back and to basically force the awakening out of him. And he was definitely prepared. One thing that we have said before, that when Luffy was in deathbeds, he, he was on death row, he would have died. Would he have awakened the devil fruit? I would say no. All this power-ups he had, gear 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, were all a concoction of, devil, of gear 5. It was all separate properties of gear 5, and that's what enabled him to awaken it. I think he was prepared. Yes, any other time, if he had have died, if he had died, and if he, even if he did have the will to fight back, I don't think he would have awakened it. I think the stage was set, and that's how he did it. Any other time Luffy would have been killed, he wouldn't have awakened his devil fruit because he was underprepared. And that's what I believe to be the story is. Sheer willpower and using your devil fruit to a certain extent. I think everything goes hand in hand. Using your devil fruit power to understand it properly, to gain more ability and to make yourself stronger while understanding the devil fruit and having the will to survive in a near death situation awakens devil fruits. That's my conclusion towards how Rufy awakened Gear 5, how he activated gear 5 and let me down let me know your thoughts down in the comments below make sure to like comment subscribe if you enjoy the content thank you all so much for watching until next time peace